Hey guys, how you doing? It's Beth. I am doing a video response to Julie's um, 100 plus subby challenge, which actually she's up to over 170 subbies, which she so deserves. I mean, you have to go to her channel. It's called the Thrifty Paper Garden. It's not the, it's just Thrifty Paper Garden. Um, but anyway, she's amazingly talented and she's funny and wonderful. And she actually is doing a challenge where you need to show um, your milk glass um, collection. But because she knows that there are, um, well, maybe I'm the only one, I don't know, um, who didn't even know what milk glass was until um, I started, you know, on YouTube, who knew they made glass out of milk? I never knew this, but I guess a lot of people do know, and they have uh, these beautiful collections, and so she showed hers along with her her uh, collection of Wizard of Oz um, memorabilia and things like that, um, but she said that you can do a video response of things that you collect, um, and so I'm going to show you what I collect. I don't collect anything that's worth anything, unfortunately, but they do um, hold meaning for me, which is uh, why I collect. Um, so the first thing that I collect are um, menorahs, or hanakiot, as you may call them. Actually, what you would probably see more often is something like this. These are what we light at Hanukkah. Um, and the reason that we do this, it's actually, um, Hanukkah is the rededication of the um, temple. Because way back, way back, there was a terrible, terrible ruler, Antiochus, who wouldn't allow the Jewish people to, um, you know, to be able to, um, oh geez, what's the word? Practice their religion. Um, and he destroyed the first temple. And a small group of soldiers, the Maccabees, Judah Maccabee, um, they fought against a huge army and won and rebuilt the temple. And, um, in the temple, you have to have, well, you don't have to, I guess, I don't know why, but there is a light, always, an everlasting light. And there was only one night's worth of oil that they had for the temple. Um, but God, in his compassion and wisdom, um, let that light last for actually eight nights. It takes eight nights, eight days, to make oil at least did back then, um, and he took that one little bit of oil and made it last eight nights, which is why we celebrate Hanukkah for eight nights and why there is um, eight candles. Now the thing about it is, and, and this is one that my daughter made, um, there's all different kinds. Um, I'll just show you just a few of the fun ones that are kind of interesting. These are cool. Um, this one I really love too. My favorite, of course, are the ones that my children made. Um, this one Emily made a long time ago. She was very young. But one thing you will notice, there are eight candles, but then there's always one that stands out a little bit, and that's called the Shamas candle. And the reason for that, you can see this one's kind of bigger than the others, um, is because Hanukkah candles could only be used for the menorah. They can't be used for anything else. Um, and so there needed to be a candle, like a working candle, the candle that would light the others. Um, and so that's why you'll actually always see nine, you know, holders for candles. But there's really only eight nights of Hanukkah. Um, and Hanukkah gelt came from, um, if you've heard of Hanukkah gelt, like the coins, the, the gold coins, because you can only use Hanukkah candles to light um, on Hanukkah, um, if you were poor and didn't have any money, um, this, again, way, way back, um, they, people would go, you know, to their neighbors and knock on the door and ask for money so they could buy their Hanukkah candles. And people, it's a mitzvah, it's a good deed to give, um, money for people to have the Hanukkah candles. And so, um, that's where that came from. Um, the reason that it means so much to me, and the reason why I, um, it brings me comfort, I guess, in a way, having all these around, um, because it makes me remember that, um, you know, no matter what happens, we might not always get what we want, but we'll, um, we'll always get what we need. God will always, you know, as long as you have faith and, you know, you, 
um, belief, then um, you'll get what you need. And so I have all different kinds all around um, my house, mostly in my living room, in the hallway, in the dining room, pretty much everywhere. I love them. Um, so that's what I collect. These are the menorahs. Um, the other thing I collect, and again, um, not expensive, doesn't really have any, you know, uh, financial value, you know, nothing money-wise. Um, but these are the willow trees, which I'm sure you guys have seen, the willow tree figurines. Normally, now if you know me, you know, I don't really like things that have no faces. They kind of scare the crap out of me. Um, but the reason that I like these, and the reason that I am especially happy that they don't have faces, is because it's not really about the workmanship of the of the piece. It's not like, um, I know like Peggy, J.P. Peggy too, showed her collection of um, houses and, you know, little houses. And those you really like to see, you know, like the the detail that was put into, you know, the, the window treatments and the roof and all that. In this case, to me anyway, it's more about what they represent. So, you know, like I have these which represent my family, you know, my husband and, um, I only wish I looked like this, um, and my two girls. Um, I have a lot with my kids because my girls are very close. They, they're like best friends. Um, and we used to have a dog who is no longer with us, but he was with us for many, many years. He lived to be like, I don't know, he was a huge Belgian Shepherd and usually I, from what I know, from what I think, big dogs don't live as long as smaller dogs. I don't know. Anyway, he lived, um, I think we had him for about 15, 16 years. And this dog was like 140 pounds. I mean, he literally was like, you know, my size. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, wishes, friendship. Um, and so again, it's not about the, um, you know, the detail, it's more about what it represents to me. Um, this one is my daughter Emily, I think of her because she was a dancer, and my daughter Rachel, because she really always loved to read, still does. Um, the one that I love the absolute most, this one is the one that means the most to me, to be honest with you. Um, and I don't know, here it is. <laughs> and you'll think I'm so funny, but um, it's actually this one. And you can see that the head has come off. And the reason that I love this one so much is because when my kids were very, very young, they were playing in the living room, and they broke it. And um, they hid it, thinking that I would never find it, you know? And... Um, I never fixed it because I love the idea that, well, first of all, who, who, what kid doesn't do that? I mean, I know I did that, you know, if you break something, like in your head, you know, as a kid, you think, oh, okay, you know, I'll hide it, who's going to notice? Um, but, of course, I did find it, and it was okay, you know, and I just love the way it just sort of, you know, the mother sort of, it's okay, don't worry about it, you know what, things happen. Um, you know, she looks just, to me, you know, I'm just thinking about how they felt. And they were, like, a little worried about it, you know. And I'm like, no, no, it's fine. So I never got it fixed because I just love that. So anyway, those are the two things that I collect. Um, now that I've uh, started scrapbooking, of course, you all know I'm a paper hoe. And I'm collecting paper. But that doesn't really have the same meaning as these things here. But, um... That's what I do. Um, the other part of um, Julie's um, challenge is that you're to um, show what your um, crafting, what type of crafting you like to do. Um, I am new to this, so I am more of, right now, kind of a sponge. I do anything and everything that I see. Um, I tend to make things that are fast and um, don't take a lot of time because I just don't have a lot of time to invest in, you know, I mean, some of these beautiful mini albums and things I would love to do. And I have made a few. Um, actually, I'm working on one for the crafts fair. Um, I don't, oh, here. Oops. 
um, which will be, it's a paper bag one. Um, I just started it, so I haven't really been, you know, I haven't done anything to it yet, but, um, yeah, I'm working on it. But anyway, um, but I got, I did these boxes for the uh, crafts fair, and these box ideas I got from Peggy, JP Peggy too, so I made some of these. I pretty much, you know, because it's all new to me, I love everything, and I want to try everything. So I don't really have a style, per se, at this point. Um, I just want to do it all. I love it. So anyway, everyone go check out Julie at Thrifty Paper Garden. Um, she really is amazingly talented and, and just so great to listen to and to watch. And um, just show her some love. And thank you, Julie, so much for having this challenge. I love watching what other people collect. I just think it's so fun. All right. I'll talk to you guys. Bye.